So in this video, I wanna introduce something new to my YouTube channel. This is something I've been thinking about for a while. This is something that I've done with my students in real life. A couple days ago, I set out a poll to my community on my YouTube channel, and the response was pretty positive. And the idea is this, that a lot of you are either in college, you got families, you got jobs, you don't have time to spend a weekend or a week working on a game jam, but yet you still wanna learn something, you wanna be involved in a community. So the idea here is, to set out small programming challenges that maybe take five, 10, maybe 30, 40 minutes, but something you can do in a single evening or easily over a weekend. With the goal of trying something new, learning something new, and better yet, learning from other people who are trying the challenge as well. These challenges, uh, your solutions can be done in C Sharp, it can be done in Bolt Visual Scripting, could be done in Playmaker, whatever programming environment or language you wanna do it. If you wanna do it outside of Unity, that's great too. So the real goal here is that the community comes together and shares their solutions so we can learn from each other. I'm gonna share my solutions, I'm gonna share a C Sharp and a Bolt solution, but I'm willing to bet that there's a bunch of you out there who can do it better than I can, and we can all learn from you. So here's a few rules for sharing your solution. Your solution is gonna be submitted as a link and a comment to the original challenge video. Now you can use photo sharing, just take pictures of your code, of your flow graph, whatever, and share it on a photo sharing service, maybe put in some captions so we understand what's going on. Even better, if you wanna submit a YouTube video walking us through your scene, through your solution, that's great. If you don't have video editing software, I'm gonna recommend Screencastify, which is a free Chrome extension that my students use to submit their work. It's super easy, upload straight up to YouTube, no fuss, no problems. Now, one negative rule here, I don't wanna see links to other social media. This is not a chance to get more Twitter followers, more Instagram followers. Please don't be linking to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. You're welcome to share your solutions, but that's not the link I wanna see. I don't wanna to have to filter through everything else. However, if you wanna put some watermarking or branding on your images or your video, feel free, don't care at all. I think it'd be fun to crown a winner for a given challenge. And I'm gonna do this in two different ways. The first is there's gonna be a deadline, there's gonna be a due date. You're welcome to submit your solutions after that, but the winner's gonna be determined on that date. And that's gonna be determined by the submission with the most likes. So they're submitting their solution as a comment. Go give the person a thumbs up if you like their solution. The other winner, and I think this is maybe even more valuable, is gonna be the person who gives the most feedback. That's gonna be leaving the most replies for other people who have submitted their solutions. And that's really what this is about, learning from other people's solutions, giving some feedback. The Unity community as a whole is so supportive and so is the Bolt community. And let's continue that tradition with these programming challenges. If that sounds interesting or something you'd like to be involved with, mark your calendars for Saturday, May 25th. That's when the first challenge is gonna be released. So until then, happy game designing, and I hope to see you at the first challenge.